Rob Turner is a mechanical engineer. He designs HVAC systems for commercial buildings, and he's got some free advice in his book, The Homeowner's Guide to HVAC, The Envelope, and Green Technologies. It's about making the right decisions. Uh, there's so much information out there, you know, oh, we save you 75% on your power bill. Well, those are under the best conditions with sometimes unfair comparisons. And what I try to do is tell people what really is a good green piece of equipment to have and what really does make a big difference in your power bill and, and lowering your energy usage. Okay, so one of the things you talk about is cooling our homes and how that's how expensive that is. So I, there's got to be something better than window air conditioners, right? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, okay, the window air conditioner, it works. It's just not very efficient. And it only blows air in one direction into one room. The next step up is a, a ducted split system. That's what's most common. Those are good because they come in a variety of efficiencies. You describe the efficiency with the SEER rating, S-E-E-R, Seasonal Energy Efficiency Rating. And it goes from 14 to like 21. And, and you can think of it like miles per gallon in your car. The 21 SEER units are awesome, but they're significantly more expensive. And, you know, there's so many choices for air conditioning your house. But the ducted systems, they are limited because you get one thermostat for one ducted system. So a lot of people with larger homes, they'll they'll purchase three or four ducted systems so they have three or four thermostats. And then the next step up from that is it's called VRF equipment. It's the most common one is the Mitsubishi mini splits. There's a lot of choices in that family. You know, it's not just the wall hung unit. You know, there's a ceiling cassette, there's ducted units, floor console, and those give you a real thermostat with each unit you buy. So you could put you could put a wall hung unit in every room and every bedroom would have its own thermostat, which is exceptional comfort. That's kind of like the quick story of, you know, the range of different choices you have. But there's other choices like heating water is an enormous amount of energy. It's a large part of your power bill. You have three types of water heaters, electric, gas, and heat pump. Heat pump is the newest technology and it is by far the best way to heat water, in my opinion. They are more expensive, but their their prices are coming way down. The heat pump water heater is at least four times as efficient as electric. So that's a huge increase in efficiency. So I would say heat pump water heaters is highly recommended. Another thing you can do to be green is look at your envelope. It's in the title of the book, and not everybody knows what the envelope is. The envelope is your insulation barrier that goes all the way around the house. And the idea is to have it surround your house like a cooler around drinks and ice. And you can have lots of holes in the envelope. You know, you can have patches of insulation missing in your attic. Buy more insulation and patch the holes and cracks and crevices around windows and things like that. Because a missing patch of insulation in your attic, for example, is not just kind of a hole in, in the perimeter. It lets heat in in the summertime or lets heat out in the wintertime like a hole in a bucket of water it gushes out so looking after your envelope is is super important and can save a lot of money all right rob so many choices so little time thank you